Hey guys, it's Yoles Bell, and today I am going to be showing you guys how to make an awesome DIY purge costume like this one shown here. This costume is super simple and super easy to make, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to make it in a few simple steps. Now the awesome part about this costume is that you can really make it your own. So you can decide to follow my steps or to do something completely different, but I'm going to just show you guys what I did to make mine. So first we're going to start off with the mask. So the materials you're going to need for this part of the costume are a blank mask, a small paintbrush, a large eyeshadow brush, red lipstick, and black eyeshadow. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get your black eyeshadow. I got Panther from Wet n Wild. Sorry, I'm holding it backwards. I'm stupid. And then you're going to want to get your large eyeshadow brush and basically just brush on the edges of the eyes of the mask. Um, I tried to do a very smoky eye kind of look that then I proceeded to move on to the rest of the mask. You'll see that later in the video. But basically I just got a lot of eyeshadow and blacked out the eyes. And then from there I just kind of blended out and added a little more eyeshadow to make it look a little dirty and a little more smoky. And yeah, <laughs> just watch me finish do that. Okay, this took a lot longer than I thought it would. Okay, okay, so next I got this Wet n Wild lipstick in hot red, and I did the lips of the mask. At first, I started off with the actual tube just to get like the mass of it on there, and then I got the small paintbrush that I mentioned earlier and I finished the details of it. So, you can watch me do that now. Da da da, words, words, words. This is taking a long time. Okay, so after I finished the lips, I got back to the black eyeshadow and I added it to the little small paintbrush and I outlined the mouth with the black to give it more of a voluminous uh, feel. I don't think that's the right word, but yeah, so I basically did the whole outside and then I did the middle of it to give it more of a shape. I then blotted the lipstick to make it look a little less as vibrant because I didn't like how it looked and then I got the large eyeshadow brush and used black all around it to just give it more of a dirty feel. Um, then I decided midway through this that I didn't like how it looked all little so I extended the mouth out and did like a more of a grin like a joker grin. Um, I got Using the actual tube of lipstick, I got the paintbrush and just kind of did the sides of the face and tried to make them as even as I could while still having the dirty feeling to it. And I just kind of did that and I liked how that looked. So I kept it like that and then I got more of the black eyeshadow and continued making around the mouth some black shapes. I then did the forehead too. I don't know if you noticed that. Um, but I also got the forehead and then using the lipstick I wrote the word killer on the forehead of the mask using straight from the tube I did that and then I fixed up the mouth a little bit f added some more eyeshadow made it look a, a little more dirty and that's how I liked it so after I got my mask to how I liked it I got this Rust-Oleum crystal clear coat and I spray painted it and let it dry. Moving on to my purging weapon of choice, I got this plastic Louisville slugger from Walmart for $5 and I spray painted it black and basically wrote kiss me with the same red lipstick that I used for the mask and then I spray painted it with the clear coat again to give it a good shiny feel and that's all I did for that. Moving on to my costume outfit, I really wanted to add a hoodie or a jacket to this outfit, but I didn't have any that were all black, so I went to Goodwill and found this awesome jacket, but sadly, it had the SI logo on it. So basically what I did was I cut out the logo all around it, and then I just sewed it back up. 
Since I was already stitching it back up, I decided that I would make it look really botched. So this stitching job is not really how I stitch and I am aware of how you actually sew things. But I wanted to do a really botched version of it to make it look like it was just a guy in the purge that got cut and he wanted to stitch it up. So I made it look like this and I used the white thread to make it look more contrast to the actual color of the jacket. To complete the look, all I added was a white t-shirt for under the jacket, black pants, and some worn out black vans. Moving on to the makeup, I basically got the same eyeshadow that I used on the mask, which was the Wet n Wild Panther color, and I also got the Wet n Wild large eyeshadow brush that I used as well. Speeding up right now, I decided to do more of a, like a skull feel undertone. I mostly wanted to black out my eyes because my eyes were really visible while wearing the mask. But I also wanted to add a little more and make myself look more grimy while wearing the mask. So of course the first step of this process was just covering the whole part of my eye in black. I tried to make it as dark as possible. Um, this eyeshadow definitely isn't made to black out your eye. If you really want to black out your eye, I definitely recommend using like a cream makeup or a grease makeup. But this eyeshadow was definitely just made for like an underlayer. Obviously, it's eyeshadow. But so I blacked out my eye as best as I could and making sure I got every part of my eye that I wanted. From there on, I moved on to the rest of the face. I really wanted to contour my cheeks and my forehead. So I did that with the same black to make it more skull looking. So right here I am contouring my cheeks, blending it in. Obviously this isn't the best contouring job, but I just wanted to do a very basic contour to make it look more like a skull or make myself look more emancipated, whatever you feel like I was trying to achieve here. I also did my upper temples and all of that trying to get myself to look skinnier which is something I've been trying to do for years now um, but basically continued doing that skull look and then I moved on to my neck where I just kind of grimed it out because I knew my neck was going to be very really visible in this costume so I just kind of did streaks of black so that it would look dirty and I would look like I've been like rolling in a pit of dirt for a while because that's what people do in the purge you know so I continued in my uh, did I do my nose I don't think I did my nose never mind I didn't do my nose but I did do my hands as well because my hands are another part that was visible which is a very important part if your hands are visible make sure they match the rest of your body which was grimy and dirty so I basically just did black streaks down my hands to make them look dirty Alright, so now here I am trying to be a model and showing you guys my makeup, but this is basically what the final look should look like. And now that we have all the pieces in place, it's time to do an awesome little lookbook where I will be showing you guys the completed costume. Enjoy!